Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So today's video is on some crazy person who was uploading uh, that would look like live streams and videos of themselves torturing cats. So the first video I think was a live stream. It's really hard to tell though whether this person was actually torturing the cats or whether they were like getting cat torture videos from online that already exist and uploading them just to troll people. So it's really hard to tell. The account has been removed, but what they were doing was they were, you know, putting up polls. Oh, should I do a live stream torturing this cat? Or um, it also was threatening people saying, oh, um, we've got another live stream uh, coming in 30 minutes with another cat. And also saying, like, whoever reports me, I've got 20, 20 to 30 other accounts or whatever. And then they were saying, like, look, um, you're only going to make this worse. So basically threatening people if they report the account that he's going to torture more catch him or her. It's hard to tell if it was a girl or a boy. But basically the videos are horrifying. Uh, one of the videos, he has a cat there. He or she has a cat there stomping on the cat's uh, neck till the cat, you know, basically dies. Um, stabbing the cat. And, and another video was a cat in like a vice and he was like, burning the cat alive. It was horrible to watch. No one wants to watch any of that. But what I thought was especially interesting were the comment section. So I went through and screen capped a couple of comments. Now, look, don't get me wrong here. I don't want to see anyone torture a cat. If I seen someone torturing a cat, it would be on like Donkey Kong. Don't you worry. I'm on your side when it comes to the cat torture. Joey doesn't like it at all. I'm an animal rights activist. I don't want to see that at all. But what interests me the most is that the people in the comment section were having normal human responses to seeing cats be tortured. Now, being an animal rights activist for many years now, five years now, I've had my own normal human responses to seeing pigs, cows, fish, chickens be tortured. And I'm all, all of us, like, I have been labeled a militant, extreme vegan. You know, I've, you know, wished bad karma on hunters. I've made very controversial statements about what I think should happen to animal abusers, you know, and I've been chastised for it. Chastised on television, across the media. This guy is so extreme. Look what he said about, you know, that he wishes hunters, you know, bad karma on hunters that he shoots, they shoot one of their family members on a hunting trip. You know, like these deer are no different to this cat. These hunters are going out targeting these deer, shooting them in the chest. They don't die straight away, a lot of them. You know, it's animal abuse. But anyway, so I'm just going to look at the the comments from the non-vegans on this cat post. So there were a couple of interesting ones. We'll start with the interesting ones, but everyone... So basically, everyone's calling to ban this page. Ban it, ban her. She's live streaming killing cats. Look, I'm going to say these, these are very graphic comments, so I'm not going to read them in full. You get the picture. Hope you're going to die in pain. What does that animal do to you? How would you feel if you were the cat and you can't fight back and you can't run away? Hope you're all bad in your life. Hope somebody will kill you unfair like the cat. So basically, uh, just saying, imagine if you were the animal and this is something that I echo to, to people who eat animals all the time. You know, you're paying for the abuse to happen and you're eating the animals after. Um, so oh, oh, now, now people are tagging Peter in this. Like, many people were actually tagging Peter, and it's like, the non-vegans usually are calling out Peter for their vegan a advocacy. Now, I don't agree with everything Peter does, but uh, I agree with a lot of their vegan activism that they do. It's interesting how, like, there's all these people who are like, oh, making fun of Peter uh, people eating tasty animals. That's what I'm. I'm part of Peter. People eat, eating tasty animals. But as soon as someone's hurting a cat, it's all like Peter, Peter, quick, 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 come help, come help. But if it's a, if it's a pig, if they're hurting a pig, and Peter's speaking up for the pigs or whatever, vegan activists are speaking up for the pigs. It's all make fun of the vegan activists. They're so extreme. I don't know. Massive double standards. Someone says, "Don't f with cats." Season two. You know, th this probably is a copycat thing. The worst part about your sick ass is you killed an innocent animal and are willing to kill more until you get the followers you want. You know, uh, have you seen those hunting pages that are killing animals? You know, it's just terrible. And yeah, animals are innocent. So if you're not a vegan, you're paying for the exact same thing to happen. Satan, Satan doesn't even want you in hell. That's how bad you are. So basically, uh, we're going to go through the karma comments here because I feel like these, I, I've been in trouble for wishing karma on uh, hunters, for wishing karma on animal abusers, you know. It, it's all a big double standard when it comes to vegan activists defending, you know, cows, pigs, chickens and fish. And, you know, when you looked at the videos, the cat was being uh, trodden on and strangled to death. And then it just made me think of, like, in the duck industry, how, you know, RSPCA approve ducks 
having their necks snapped as a way of humane dispatch, you know, and it's just like, well, if you're eating duck, you're paying for animals to have their necks snapped anyway. And, you know, in the pork industry where piglets are killed with blunt force trauma, if they're not growing fast enough, they grab them by the hind legs and smash their head on the ground. And you can look this up. This is pretty stock standard all over the world, even in the UK. And I've seen images in chicken farms where the little chicks aren't growing fast enough and they're just going along, stomping on them, you know, killing them, chucking them in the bin. There are many things that happened to farmed animals that are almost identical to this and that probably 90% of the people in this comment section are paying for. So keep that in mind. What the F is wrong with you? What did that cat do to you? Hope you die a painful death and burn in hell. Karma. You stupid piece of S. What is wrong with you? I hope you suffer as much as this cat. Now, if I said that to a pig farmer or to someone who pays for pork products to happen, how about this? How about we just do this? Let's make it equal, an equal analogy. How about I, if I paid that person to torture that cat so I could eat the cat? Would you, be, would you be wishing all this bad karma on me? Because that's what you do when you buy animal products. You pay someone to torture a chicken or a cow or a fish so you can eat them. They're only torturing these animals, murdering these animals, so you can eat them. Keep going. Uh, you effing stupid bee, why do that? I hope you die of cancer and I hope you suffer like that cat. I mean, here we go. Wishing cancer on them. Wishing cancer on him. If I ever wished cancer on a non-vegan, I, I think I have it back in my early days when people are making fun of animal cruelty. I think I have said something like that. But of course, if I did something like that these days, oh my God, I would be strung up, strung up. If I wished cancer on an animal abuser or someone who was making fun of animal abu uh, abuse right now, I'd be strung up. I'd be in big trouble. But this is completely socially acceptable because people are having a normal emotional response to what's happened to these cats. Uh, people, A lot of people are saying KYS, which means kill yourself. Um, you're doing this to a poor innocent cat. Well, hope you're not paying for innocent animals to be killed. K KYS, KYS, KYS means kill yourself. Um, I hope you have the most painful death possible. You know, uh, what the hell is wrong with you? Someone who does, I hope, I wish someone does the same to you. So there is many, 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 many like this. This is a long one. You're a piece of crap human being that never deserved to be born. You are effing mentally ill and need to get help or j get jail for life. You make me sick. Humans like you deserve, don't deserve to live. You deserve every, every piece of hate and death threat you receive. This person here is saying you, you deserve all the death threats you receive. Very, very interesting. Someone here says, I hope you choke on a fork. Wow. Wow. Someone else says, I hope you go to hell and burn in boiling oil and have alcohol poured over all of your cuts and burns. These people are serious. These people are serious. Uh, there's a massive double standard here, isn't there? I mean, vegans send wish karma like this on animal abusers in the industry of animal agriculture and we're labeled extremist. People do it on a, tor a cat torture video and it's completely fine, socially acceptable. Um, why, why aren't we calling out pig farmers like this, you know, where they're smashing piglets on the, on the, on the ground, you know, blunt force trauma, where they're grabbing a hammer to kill bobby calves, um, because they can't be used in the dairy industry. So they kill them on their first day of life sometimes, uh, with blunt force trauma, which is, you know, standard legal practice. I want to ask you this. What if the person who tortured this cat ate the cat afterwards, you know, and said protein though, and said, I've got canine teeth. And what if they said, in the wild, a lion would have killed this cat in a much more horrific way than I did, so it's better that I killed the cat and ate the cat. And plus, you know, um, we've been eating animals for thousands of years, and why are you forcing your beliefs on me? What if he just went to all these people who are anti-torture and said, why are you forcing your beliefs on me? You know, what if we did this thought experiment where we took the cat that was being tortured by this person and replaced the cat with a pig? Would you still think that was horrible? You say, oh, well, you know, this person is torturing this cat for some sadistic pleasure. Well, I don't know. When, when you eat the body of a pig, you don't think that that's sadistic pleasure? All you're getting is some flavor in your mouth and you're eating their body and they're being many times tortured for it. Like, most pigs are factory farmed. The One of the main ways pigs are killed is in a gas chamber where they suffer horrific deaths. The science proves it, that pigs will do anything to avoid CO2, including starving themselves and not drinking water. They'll avoid a room with CO2 in it. This stuff burns them. And you will go ahead and eat bacon. But what if we took this this cat and made the cat into bacon? You'd be happy with that? No worries? Okay to torture the cat? 
absolutely crazy, man. Like, I think, like, if you took this cat, right, this cat, this poor cat that was tortured by this person, and you put them in a slaughterhouse where cows are killed and bolt gun the cat in the head, slit the cat's throat open, cut the cat's skin off, exactly how we do it do to a cow, in the UK, Australia, US, where, take your pick, take your pick, you know, would you think that was okay? So why the hell are you eating cows? Why the hell are you eating cows? What about the other way that animals are killed? Uh, electric bath, let's just say chickens. We hang the cat up like a chicken, drag the cat through an electric bath, which gives them a horrible electric shock, and then we slit the cat's throat open, turn them into KFC, Kentucky Fried Cat. Would that be okay? And what if someone were to pay for that to happen to the cat? It's, it's like, it's almost, this, it's almost identical. You cause this suffering on a far greater scale to many more animals than this person did to this cat, but it's indirect and you don't care. It's like, oh, it's out of sight, out of mind. These industries only exist because of you. Now, I want to leave you here with some pretty crazy death threats. Now, I don't know if anyone remembers the controversy in 2018 where farmers were like, oh, vegans are sending death threats. Vegans are sending death threats. I don't know if they were death threats or if the vegans were just wishing bad karma. Probably not as bad as this, though. <laughs> Probably nowhere near as bad as this stuff. But, like... It was all like, oh, I, I, I publicly condemned death threats on TV. I was like, you know, I don't, I don't agree with sending death threats. I want to just publicly say that I condemn any death threats and any name calling. That's not the way I advocate. The same people who would criticise a vegan animal rights activist for wishing bad karma or even sending a threat to a farmer who was abusing animals, sending innocent animals to the slaughterhouse to have their throats slashed open, sending innocent pigs to the gas chamber to suffer and die, okay? A vegan who sends a threat to that person would be chastised so much more than these people in this comment section. If I find you, I will torture you and your family and everyone you love until you beg for mercy. Wow. You're going to torture everyone they love? I don't see any replies to this comment saying, hey, you know, don't you think you're being a little bit extreme there? Like, don't you think you should have a different approach here? Why, why don't you have a little bit more of a peaceful approach? You know, you're never going to change anyone like that with that approach. It's too aggressive. This approach is way too aggressive. Could you imagine someone saying that to this person? No one has. No one has. Take away cat, add pig, and uh, give the same response. Everyone be like, oh, this is too extreme. You're never going to change anyone like this. Absolute hypocrisy. Does my head in. Uh, someone says, you should be burned to death. Wow, you should be burned to death? What? Because th th what they did to this cat? What they're doing to this cat? Have you seen what happens to pigs in gas chambers? You know? Sometimes they're not stunned correctly, pigs, and they'll go into a scolding tank while fully conscious. Imagine that. And that's what your dollar pays for when you eat bacon. And you go, mmm, bacon though. <sighs> The second I ever see your sick effing face, it'll be the last time anyone does. You may be strong stabbing a helpless cat, but you most definitely can't survive an armor-piercing bullet. Count your days, you effing scumbag. Wow. Wow, this person is sending a pretty serious death threat to this person. You may be strong stabbing a helpless cat. I mean, this person, Vincent, I don't know if he's a vegan. So he's probably paying for countless other animals to be stabbed every year. Um... And they probably suffer more horrific lives than this cat ever suffered. The cat looked like it hadn't been living in a factory farm. The cat looked like, you know, they hadn't, you know, been mass bred in some disgusting feces filled facility like, you know, nine, over 90% of all animals on earth. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just crazy. Listen to this one. I'm going to find your IP address, then your real address, and I'm not even going to call the cops. I'm going to buy a flight ticket, find you, and torture you like you did torture that cat. Because you don't deserve to be in this world. You mentally ill calls them a pig. Wait, pigs are innocent. Come on. So basically just saying I'm going to I'm gonna track you down your IP address and find you and kill you. These are serious threats. These aren't just wishing karma. These are proper serious threats. Eight likes, no replies saying, hey, this is too extreme. This approach isn't going to work. Person probably eats animals three times a day like everyone else. Someone says, I hope you die in the worst pain. You get it. You get it. Die, bastard. Go to hell. You wait. I'll kick down your door. I'm going to kill your mum. Threatening to kill the person's mum. Look, this is about it. You, I mean, look, you get what I'm trying to say here. There's a huge double standard with these people. They see a cat be tortured and all of a sudden it's kill the person and everyone agrees. Um, you see a pig get tortured for their bacon and it's mm, bacon, yum. Vegans are extreme. It's uh, animals were put here to be eaten. 
It's uh, who cares? It's uh, I'm too lazy to change. It's uh, all of these nonsense arguments to try to justify the torture and abuse and murder of animals. But there's just this massive blind spot. As soon as it's a cattle dog, it's everyone goes crazy. Now, this also raises the question of whether we should even be reporting things like this on Instagram. Because if you start reporting animal abuse videos, do the moderators or does the, the system that takes these things down know whether you're trying to speak out against the animal abuse or know that you're trying to promote the animal abuse? So that's the thing. Does it determine which? Because if we start saying, hey... This person's posting animal abuse, report them, take it down. If I want to share something about a pig being gas chambered, is Instagram going to automatically not la allow that stuff on their platform? It's a very big question to ask whether we should be reporting hunters or cat abusers or things like that online. You know, I just think it, it might shoot us in the foot when we want to share something about the chicken industry. They might say, well, you sh you're, you're promoting animal cruelty or whatever. It just gets automatically taken down. Or they don't, like, no, they don't allow any animal cruelty videos online and that will work against the vegan movement. So that's something to consider. But anyways, uh, if you're watching this and you eat meat and you, you, you know watching someone torture a cat just makes you upset just analyze that because you're paying for animals to be tortured as well it's quite simple really um to be a vegan is to mitigate most of the animal suffering and murder on earth uh you, you you're taking a really big step in the right direction by being vegan the next step is to be an activist but anyways guys leave your comments down below what do you think about this what do you think about the hypocrisy the don't f with cats season two wannabe um, attention seeker, uh, what do you think about the responses from people, are you a vegan who has received criticism for being too quote unquote aggressive, probably by similar people like this who scream at people for torturing cats, what do you think about that hypocrisy, I mean, I think we're going to run with this hypocrisy theme for a little while, I hope you guys enjoyed my dog meat taste test video, I'll see you all in the next video, peace.